Mina, Kondanwa, Jesus Freaky Gamer here, coming at you with Deuteronomy chapter 13. We're going to go through verses 1 through 3. If there arises among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and he gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder comes to pass, of which he spoke to you, saying, Let us go after other gods, which you have not known, and let us serve them, you shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. The point of these verses is, to me, pretty simple. It seems that some Christians aren't willing to consider that the enemy may have real power. Of course, many believers don't even believe that our God has real power today. Power for miracles, power for healings, things you see quite often in the Old and the New Testaments. I'll go ahead and put it out there. I'm one of those weirdos who believes in the whole spiritual gifts thing, healing, miracle, prophecies. I believe that stuff still goes on today. I believe that's applicable to us today, that we can experience the power of God today. Having said that, I also acknowledge that the enemy, Satan and his demons, they also have power. So when I hear of some other religion or some you know, witch doctor, some voodoo man, whatever, they, they mention you know, that they have power. They say that they've done such and such. I don't immediately discredit them because they don't believe in my God or because they don't worship Jesus. I don't assume that at all. From what the Bible says, false gods... That would be Satan and his demons. They do wield real power. There can be real healings, miracles, prophecies, dreams, etc. They have the power to do those things. It's a little bit scary, but the Bible says it is there. It's not incredibly surprising to think that the enemy has such power. I mean, he is he and his army, they're fallen angels after all. So it would be it would almost be odd if they were just completely powerless and limited to only tempting us and deceiving us. There are some real threats there. And even um, 2 Thessalonians talks about the man of sin using lying signs and wonders. So that's not just Old Testament. Apparently at some point in the future that's going to be done as well. And I do believe that those things are ongoing today. So one more cause to be on the lookout, one more reason to learn how to put on the armor of God, stay close to Him, be ready to fight. So, yeah. Just be, if you hear someone from another faith claiming a miracle, don't be like, that ain't real. No, it, it could be real. It's very possible it could be real. And to the believers who don't think that miracles apply to us today, I'm not of that opinion. I believe they do. I have personally seen a few things myself. And I will leave it there for this video so I don't just ramble on and on and on and on. So many things could just become full-blown sermons, but I try to contain myself and keep my rambling to three minutes or close to that for these videos, and I'm sure my time's almost up. So thank you very much for watching. I love you guys. God bless.